Let's do some audio guts on the RKS P1100.1D. It's very light, pretty light rock series. The date and quality. Number 12, whoever that is. So I was like, this one was already disturbed, but I gotta remember that the, the MyTech technicians were looking at this. Oh, very simple. Um, yeah, I've seen this design with the, um, what was it, audio pipe? Uh, the, 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 basically the ones I get, this is very popular. I didn't know it did 1100 watts, but that would be great to find out. So very simple layout. I, I would love more rail caps, but again, this thing's only good for 1100 watts. And I love that bracing. Also, so you don't get chatter. Sometimes you can get chatter and arcing out. Big ol' it's aluminum, it's not copper. But does it do the job? Yeah, it does the job. Uh, that looks like, see if I can focus. It looks a little oversized. It's probably like two gauge, because it's bigger than four gauge. These are like a big, healthy, bigger than eight gauge. These are probably like six gauge. Oversized, maybe for oversized CCA, but yeah, one ohm, stable, good for 1100 watts. That's about right. There you go. Very generic though, but I, I love this blue color board, the PCB. It's easy to work on, uh, easy to see things. So that's it. That's uh, that's the guts for the Rock Series. This one is going to power a. Um, Soundstream T5 Tarantula, uh, 12 inch. Uh, that is sale, that is on sale with the box for only 350 out the door. So a very 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 good deal. Typically, the amplifier alone goes for about 350. Let alone the subwoofer and the badass MTX box. Thanks for watching, guys.